I have a real hard time with people that are always fine and always okay and they never have a problem. And I think those are the kind of people that can really make other people think, I must really be messed up. You know, because I've got, I've got some problems, but everybody I talk to is always perfectly fine. You can't be authentic until you accept your own uniqueness. Frankly, I'm tired of the phoniness. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I just think that especially Christians get this idea that people are not gonna think well of them unless they're always okay. Everything is always wonderful. And if you, if you really start thinking about it, almost every person you ask them how they are, oh, I'm fine. Praise the Lord, I'm fine, or I'm good. And you know, I'd say better than 50% of the time, that's just not true. They're going through something, they're hurting, they've got a headache or whatever. And I understand we don't wanna spill our guts to everybody you know, that comes along. And in a way we are fine if we're fine spiritually. But I just think that there's not a lot of real, close, honest relationships anymore. Mm -hmm. And I think if we want to have better relationships, Laurie says to me, how are you, Joyce? I mean, I should be able to say to her, you know, I went through a real rough time last week, blah, 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 with this and that. And, but I know that God's going to take care of it. I've been doing a, working on a devotional on Psalms. And... It really came clear to me in reading the Psalms. David was so brutally honest with God about how he felt. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, he did not hold back how he felt, but he always ended. The Psalm always ends with, but I know you'll take care of me. I, I know you love me, but I think we need, I just think we need to be more honest with one another. I mean, do we really think that Jonah was fine when he was in the whale's belly? <laughs> or that Job was fine when he had all those boils. And so I just think, I think we need to start being more honest. What God wants us to show to the world. Yeah. He, he wants us to show them that yes, we have problems just like you do, yeah. but there is a different way to handle those problems. The apostle Paul never one time told the believers that he would pray for their problems to go away. Hmm. Never, you can't find a place where he said he would pray for their problems to go away. He, he said, he prayed for them that they would bear their trouble with good temper, mm -hmm. that they would maintain a good attitude. So we're not helping anybody, say, who doesn't know Jesus, who's already got an attitude that Christians are, you know, goody two shoes and really fakes and phonies. We're, we're not helping them by acting like, Oh, you know, if, if you serve God, then everything in life is going to come up roses and you're never, ever, ever going to have a problem. I tell people when I do altar calls that receiving Jesus doesn't mean you're never going to have another problem. Right. Matter of fact, for a while you could have more because the devil's <laughs> going to be going to be coming after you. But your, your worst day with Jesus will still be better than your best day ever was without him because when you have him, you're never alone. Okay, um, authentic and uniquely you, authentically, uniquely you is the name of the book, but talking about the subject of authenticity, before we started talking, my angle on this was when are you too authentic? Because you even alluded to just now, you said, you know, you don't wanna just spill your guts to everyone every time, but there should be a new awareness of authenticity. Mm -hmm. It seems like it's sweeping through. It feels like a very timely, fresh subject mm -hmm. and fresh book. So 100% we need to break this down. Mm -hmm. But you can go too far where you just dread to even ask a person, how are you doing? Because you know you're gonna get yeah. a, a, a big <laughs> uh, regurgitation of bad. Well, there so, is the other side of that where people just do nothing but complain and murmur about everything. And that's another, that's a whole different set of problems than what we're talking about here. And the other reason why people are not honest with each other and authentic is because and I hate to say it this way, but there's just not a lot of people that you can trust anymore right. with your secrets. And so 
if I say to you, you know, one of my kids is going through something right now and it's really been hard for me, you know, I don't want to say that to you unless I'm pretty sure that you're not going to get on With Facebook or Twitter media. or on mm -hmm. the phone and, oh, man, you should hear what, what Joyce is going through. So I think we have a double problem. If we're going to be more authentic with each other, obviously you have to pick who you feel like you can trust to do that with. Mm -hmm. Feels like what you're doing is you're wanting to, if we use the old analogy of a road, one ditch right. is basically being a gossip. Right. And the other ditch is being so scared to tell anybody anything that you're going through right that you're cloistered in the ivory tower right. and you never get any help or anything going on. So you've got this, you know, the two ditches. We need to stay on the road yeah. of authenticity. So what is authenticity? You've just written a book about it. What kind of well, give us the the truth about what the what what we're really If wanting. I'm an authentic person, okay. I'm going to be the same in the grocery store, right. in the bank in the supermarket as I am sitting right here on this platform. Okay. I'm not, I'm not gonna say one thing when people are watching and then do another when I think nobody's watching because yeah, yeah. God is always watching. Mm -hmm. And Jesus had a lot of scathing words for the phonies. Mm -hmm. He did not like phoniness and that was what he told the real religious scribes and Pharisees. You tell everybody else what to do but you don't do it yourself. And I think we have, I, you know, I'm a pretty real person anyway, so this is kind of not real hard for me if I could be accused of being, you know, too real sometimes. <laughs> but um, I have a real hard time with people that are always fine and always okay and they never have a problem. And I think those are the kind of people that can really make other people think, I must really be messed up. Mm -hmm. You know, because I've got, I've got some problems, but everybody I talk to is always perfectly fine. And I don't think, the reason why I put those two subjects together is you can't be authentic until you accept your own uniqueness. Okay. See, they go together. It's like, I have to accept myself and be okay with it. I'm not like, I'm not like Lori, I'm not like you, and you're not, not this or that. And if you don't accept that, then you become not authentic in that you're always pretending to be something that you're not. Friend, because of your partnership, the impact that TBN is making around the world for Jesus is miraculous. So to say thank you for your gift of support in any amount, we'll send you Saturdays with Billy, written by Dr. Don Wilton. Please go to tbn.org slash Saturdays with Billy. And thank you for being a part of this global television ministry.